Hey guys, welcome to a visual novel. We haven't done a visual novel in forever since Seduce Me Ultimate, which we probably might continue, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> well, the story is Who is Mike? And I'm here Isn't with it? Mickey! It's been a while. I remember my snap. <laughs> <laughs> you did good, Mickey. You I remembered did. it. <laughs> it's been a while since we did a. Uh, I'm gonna hate to say this, a ticky video. A what? Ticky. Icky? Ticky. Why is it icky? It's a ticky. Oh, ticky! Ticky! <laughs> Let's just get this started before anything else. I have no idea what this whole vision novel is about. We Whoa! <laughs> you wanna be you? <laughs> How about you be you, since technically they'll be watching it from your point of view? Ugh, my head. We yeah, had oh, there it is. Narrator? Thoughts. My nape throbbed with a sudden persistent pain. Dizziness came and went like a slow trickle of sweat. What? It was evening. The curtains were closed and the sound of blood thumping in my ears made the silence... Is that magnet? I have no idea how to pronounce that. Well, I went to the next thing. I was in my house. Yes. The music changed. But I was disoriented. Something felt amiss. There was a certain creepiness that made the hairs on my arms prickle. I blinked to my surroundings. My glasses. Where are they? I think this is you. <laughs> I think yeah. I've been reading you for a while. No, just you're a narrator. <laughs> so keep going. Did I bump into something or Ah! What the fuck? What the what did you just do? S stay back, whatever you are! Still you. You're white, I'm purple. <laughs> no, I feel like there's still more care. Just keep reading. Ah! Even before I heard his voice, I had felt the presence of someone else in the room. It justified the awful feeling in my gut. It just- Don't move! That is you. Keep reading. Ah! Oh my god. There was a stranger in my house! Dun, dun, dun. He held a bat with his outstretched arms, maintaining the distance between us. Get, get back! Or should that be you reading that? Because I'm just talking to myself now. I didn't know what to do. I put my mouth in several attempts to say something. Isn't that you? I'm st I still don't see the caption you yet. What? Oh, okay. Don't hurt me. Please leave. What do you want? In the end, I just stood there in dumb silence, stewing in my own nervous sweat. What is he even doing here? If he was a robber, he picked the wrong house. That's a perfect response. Do I know him? from somewhere. I squinted at his blurred shape, time to replace the man's fuzzy edges with something more tangible. He looks... I stepped closer. The man waved his bat in alarm. I, I told you not to move! Ugh! Did he just shiver? He is acting way more upset than me. Considering he's the intruder in my house. Might be a foolish thing to say, but he didn't seem dangerous at all. Just go away, please. Please. He continued mumbling to himself, gasping big gulps of panic breaths. Uh-oh. 
Hey, um, I think you're having a panic attack. Try breathing through your nose and out your mouth. Damn. They actually just give breathing exercises to a trespasser? Yes. I guess Sarah was right. My kindness will be the death of me one day. In any case, the stranger relaxed a good deal. I gave him a small, unsure smile. You alright? Uh, what? What are you? I'm sorry? My name is Mike J Jason? Is that Jason? Yeah, it's a J Jansen. My name is Mike Jansen, and you're in my house. Who are you? Uh. Never mind. I think I lost my glasses somewhere. If you let me find them, I'm sure we can sort this out. You don't seem like a bad guy. The man dropped the bat to his side and let out a long, forlorn sigh. Under the coffee table, probably. Thanks. I fumbled around on the floor, praying for dear life the stranger would attack me while I was vulnerable. But he just stood there, shuffling his feet and mumbling to himself. He wasn't very threatening, really. I'm sure the poor guy's just confused. Also, there was something familiar about him. So I probably figured out what you put on the glasses. Something I couldn't quite put my finger on. It might be his posture, or even the red sweater he was wearing. I could swear it looks exactly like my- Sorry for threatening you with my- with a bat. Um, it's, it's alright. If it makes any difference, I really- wasn't really gonna hit you. The shape of my glasses finally re registered in my hand and I fished them out. I, I don't think I can hurt anyone. Even in this situation. Sarah has always said... Wait, how he knows about Sarah? I think they're clones! I think so too. I'm betting clones, I'm betting clones. I'm betting clones too. The world... Okay, the world gained clarity as I put on the pair of glasses over my eyes. Click. Someday kindness is going to kill me. <laughs> okay, continue. Hey, you're Mike so, now. Uh, I'm Mike. I'm okay. So, uh, you can see me now. Hi. <laughs> the man waved lamely. I stood there with my jaw gaped, staring at him. He was me. Existing as a separate being. I thought this would be behind for had, some reason. He had all those. Oh, wait, wait. Look, look behind him. Look at the little drawing behind him. Oh, that's a drawing in front of him. But where's the drawing in front of him? Right there, on the next to the vase of the flowers. They're like the same drawings. Oh, oh he has a girlfriend. And then. That's probably Sarah. Oh, that's probably Sarah. And then trees. The picture of trees. Oh, that's a pretty picture of trees. He has a really old club, but he can play guitar. He's crying. He's a guy. He is crying. That's sad. All right. Back to the right. story. He had my face, hair, my posture, my sweater. Best no wonder that sweater, sweater looked like mine. It was mine. I'd be pissed if somebody was wearing my sweater. This is... Just a dream. It's just a dream. That's it. Calm down. Don't lose your head. Relax. No matter how many times I said it, though, the gravity of the situation refused to stick. The room felt simultaneously constricting and vast, like being squeezed and let it go and let go again and again. I felt like I was a child again, lost in a crowd, blindly reaching for my mother's hand, only to realize in horror that the hand belonged to a stranger. Okay. 
And now it's your turn not to panic, right? Deep breaths. He's smiling. Look how cute he looks. Or we look. We look like that. Yeah. Is he some kind of clone? Called it! Called hey, it. didn't confirm it yet. I'm gonna guess uh, twin. An, app an apparition of my future? What? But he knew Sarah. Sarah. What? What exactly is he? I reached out to touch him, making sure he was real and not some big figment of imagination. The other Mike recoiled from my touch and pushed my arm away. Well, if he pushed it, clearly he's real. Mm -hmm. Hey, now, this is weird for both of us. Oh, now he's pouty. He's, he's kind of. You have okay. Look at his. Look at his elbow. Yeah. Look at his elbow. Who wears sweaters like that? He does like this. Don't hate on his fashion. <laughs> I will hate on his fashion. Don't make it worse by getting gra by being grabby. Well, okay. He looks solid, so he can't be a ghost. He can form separate thoughts from my own. And he seemed aware that we were both the same person. What are you? Why do you have my face? That's the best question ever. Excuse me? Your face? For your information, I was having a normal night in my house when you came barging in here. So why don't you tell me what you're doing in my living room? I opened for my mouth to argue, but once I did, I realized I couldn't remember anything. My last bits of memory consisted of a bowl of chips and late night TV shows. Also a pain at the back of my head. I can't remember. Aha! See? That's what all fakes say. Case closed. Fake? Excuse me? You're some sort of anomaly. It's the only explanation. I don't remember doing anything special recently. If you have my memories, I'm sure you'll agree. You, on the other hand, lost a chunk of time from yours. So you are either the cause of everything or simply an effect. Well, isn't somebody smarty pants? Smart as Mike. Ergo, an anomaly. Right. Then if we go there, if we're going there, I might as well say you're lying about the state of your memories. Normally was disrupted with your present. Hence, I lost that track of time. That prob prob uh, probability that you are the cause and effect of my sudden amnesia is very high. Therefore, you're the fate. You can't prove that. I just did. He didn't did. say no. Sorry. I just did that. Neither can you disprove it since we will have the same arguments. And go around in circles. I see what you're getting at. Silence. It is quite interesting, though. Isn't it? Oh, we gotta make decisions. Ah! Well, I guess. Because it's really interesting. This kind of state of mind it really in is interesting. That's two of us. And we're both named Mike. And we're both named Sarah. And the music stopped. I hit save. Um <laughs> uh, I couldn't even hit save. It's at the very bottom. Here's pants. Mine's is gone. Oh. Well... Let's hope that you don't, we don't have any problems. Say, let's, well, I guess. Let's go with that. Did you click it? Yeah, clicked. I already did. I thought we agreed on that. I didn't know. Yeah, we agreed. Quick save. Well, sorta. After all, it's not every day you meet an exact replica of yourself. You make it sound like I'm the copy here. Well, aren't you? Don't start that thing again. Mm. Mm. This is such a pain in the ass. 
don't I know it? What could have caused this? What kind of freak of nature would have sprouted another me? I'm sure I should be flattered or something, but I'm hardly clonable specimen material. <sighs> At the very least, he doesn't seem dangerous. There was no animosity or aggression coming from him. I don't feel any ill will towards him either. But it was strange how we have this same. <laughs> it was strange how we have the same small scar on the chin. I don't see a scar. Me neither. Wait, where is it? I don't. It. It must be small because I can't see. Yeah, it. That must be the tiniest scar I've ever seen in my life. Look at that perfect chisel skin. Yeah, and even the same pock marks from teenage acne. Okay, where's that? Uh, nope, that's that's the chisel skin. I touched my own face on a sudden impulse. I'm still me. Right? Just then, we heard a door softly opening from upstairs. Ooh, another character. Most likely Sarah. Okay. Oh no! Sarah! Sarah? I knew Sarah heard that noise a while ago. Quick, find somewhere to hide. I'll try to distract Sarah while you crawl out the front door. Wait, what? Wait a minute. You getting rid of me? No, I'm not, okay? We just can't risk having two mics in the house, you know that. Then why don't you leave? Are you kidding? You look like a train wreck! He was right, I was filthy. How'd that happen? Look, we'll get it all sorted out tomorrow. Who knows, maybe your missing memories might even come back. But you're throwing me out of my house. I'm not throwing you out! This is just a temporary arrangement! Let me deal with Sarah tonight, and tomorrow we'll sort out this mess. Just leave for now, okay? Uh, which one you wanna do? I kinda wanna do- I'm staying here, motherfucker! Alright, My I'm girlfriend! <laughs> I'm staying here. Is that it? We're yep. staying here? Quick save? Uh- <laughs> I stand there with a heavy feeling in my stomach. His suggestion made sense, but my feet refused to move. Why should I hide? Why should I scurry away from my- I CALLED IT GIRLFRIEND IN MY HOUSE. It wasn't right. Faint trickles of anger scratched at my chest. No way. What? I'm not leaving. Come on, man! Don't be difficult. If Sarah sees this, if Sarah sees this, this, it will not end well for either of us. But if there's anyone out there who can help us, it's... Shh! Mikey, it's getting late. Aren't you coming up? Hey, I thought I was going to be Sarah. Damn it, fine, you be Sarah. Mikey, is it getting late? Aren't you coming up? Her voice called from the stairs. Please tell me you both say it at the same time. <laughs> the living room was dark and she probably did see us in the dim light. We held our breaths tight in our throats. Uh... I, I got distracted. That's true. Sarah walked toward us, a nonchalant look on her face. Hey, is someone there with you? It's pretty late for visitors. Uh... Is that your bro- Mike stole a glance at me. Listen, Sarah... Please don't panic. Oh. There we go. There we go. My... <laughs> God. <laughs> the whole screen shook. Sarah, calm down. This is... What the fuck? Huh? 
okay. I know this <laughs> looks sort of bad, but sort of bad. Mike, I'm staring at two of you. I think we crossed the thirds at uh, the, the threshold <laughs> uh, sort of bad a long time ago. This is a trick, isn't it? With some mirrors and shit. It's not a prank, Sarah. This is really happening. And we, and we don't really know what to do. Stop. Stop talking. Watching both of you talk at the same time is giving me a Virgo. This sounds like you, Taylor. <laughs> like, stop. Stop talking. Stop it. I don't want you to shut up. <laughs> Stop it. Um, Damn it, Mike. Deep, deep breaths. Oh, this is not going to end well. I think I need to lie down. Excuse me for a bit. Well, that went better than I expected. With <laughs> that, if by that you mean my girlfriend is ready to pop a stress baby, then yeah, sure. Wait, she's pregnant? I told you this was a bad idea. Nah, she'll be fine. <laughs> nah, she'll be fine. <laughs> we agreed on that? I already agreed on it. Okay. She'll be fine. She's a police officer. She used oh, to. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, that's what I do with her new information. She used to. She used to these kind of stressful situations, right? I don't think you know what you're talking about. I guess we better just deal with it. Alright, boys. I'm a lot calmer now. Told you she was gonna she'd be fine. Now first order of business. With the flying fuck. That, that's true. <laughs> no, that's not correct. I have no idea. Start at the beginning then. Well I heard a noise and I checked it out. I found somebody stumbling around in the living room. I panicked, took the bat, I just wanted to scare off the guy. And then I saw him with my face on. I thought I was losing it, but he was making his way upstairs so I had to confront him somehow. To be honest, I thought of grabbing a crucifix or something. Cute. <laughs> I don't remember any of that. I just woke up here with the aching head. What's the last thing you do remember? Tell, Tell the, the truth. truth. Tell the truth. We agreed? Yeah, I already clicked it. Sweet. I, I remember hearing a noise in the kitchen, but I thought it was nothing. I grabbed the beer from the fridge, and then something hit me in the head. Next thing I know, I'm in the living room, and this guy was waving a bat at my face. No way! He came in here dragging himself like a drunk, but he did have a beer. And then he tried, and then he tripped on that stupid carpet. Do we agree on the carpet, or say he hit us with the bat? <laughs> Let's go with the carpet. Carpet! I hate that carpet. And, we, and what's with that smirk? Like you never tripped on that carpet yourself? Bleh. My sister gave us that carpet out of the goodness of her heart. That explains so much. Hmm. So, I'm getting that feeling that there's another issue here, though. Hmm. Are you guys trying to out real each other or what? Well. There can't be two Mike Jansons, can there? Maybe you could help us figure this out. Huh? Decide which one of you is real. Yeah. Like how exactly? Oh. I don't know. I just asked some personal questions or whatever. Yeah. Hey, yeah, why not? Maybe one of us will slip up. Right. Because you want to treat this like a fucking trivia game. <laughs> Look, guys, I don't think that's gonna work. You can't just decide the realness of somebody in one night of 20 questions. We have to find another way. I think you 
Like what? This is somebody Blood sampling? DNA test? And exorcism? I don't fucking know. I thought the blood test would Don't make me choose between the two of you. Sarah, I'm we're aware this is unfair. But there is one person who can help us, and it's you. Mikey, you don't know I love you, right? We've been together a long time. I know you're a bold pattern and your unhealthy fanboy obsession with Jason's <laughs> who? Is that him? I don't, I don't know who that is either. Wait, I'm going to see if that's a real person. Yeah, I'm going to look at that up first. <laughs> we both are. I can't get in my phone. Uh, wait. He's an English actor. He oh, I recognize him. Oh, he's in the Expendables three. I think he's also in Fast and the Furious, and he was in Spy with Melissa McCarthy. Is he in? Sh is he in Ages of Shield? Um. He's in a lot of video games. Maybe that's why, because he's in Call of Duty as a voice actor. But I don't see any angels and shields on here. He was in Nomeo and Juliet. Oh! Um. Oh! I know I know him from. From actually. In the name of the king of Dungeons, Siege Tale. That's where I recognize him from. Alright, back to the story. Oh. oh, he's in the Italian job! That's where I know him from. <coughs> okay, now now that we've figured out who Jason Statham is, okay. Uh, but I don't think literally anyone is cut out for this shit. Why don't we just call your mother? Uh, that's no. a bad idea. No. no. Oh no, even your reactions are the same. Impressive. Baby bunny, please. Please help Oh, Papa whoa, bunny time out. out, time out. Baby bunny? Ba that is a. S stop! Did I tell you that nickname was only between the two of us? Uh, technically, it's still just me. Oh my god. That is so fucking creepy. <laughs> One thing for sure, we don't have to fix this. It's just too damn weird. So will you help us? Sarah sighs and shakes your head. I don't think I get a say either way. It's at least worth a shot. Wait. After this is over, what are we going to do with the other supposed poster? Have you guys thought about that little gym? I'm sure we'll figure out something afterwards. Yeah, let's think about it later. Yeah, let's think about it later. Yeah. Let's not rush into that conclusion yet. Take it one step at a time. Okay, whatever. Personal questions, it is. Anniversary. February 26, 2009. Um. <laughs> okay, we should either both be wrong. <laughs> both be wrong or you think let's we're go, right. Let's go down this ship. So, yep, February, February 27. No, I, I thought I was gonna say February 27th. Wait, what did you click? I haven't clicked on anything. I accidentally clicked. Oh, wait, I can go back though. Uh, I don't. I don't care. What do you want to do? February 26th. I, I said 26th. All right, I I hit it. Okay. February 26th, Thursday. Yeah, that was too easy. Brother's name. Miles Jordan Jansen. He hates it. Uh, 
Wait, you, uh, your call. I'm, I'm not clicking anything till you do. Who got what who? <laughs> I go with the Miles Jordan Jansen. Let's go with that. Miles Jordan Jansen. Exactly why I call him that every chance I get. Right on. You guys are being very mature. Anyway, favorite animal. I'm starting to sound like the worst dating website in history. Dogs! Hyena. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know. You choose. Yes, I love dogs. Okay. Yeah, I adore dogs. I should remember to get one after this whole thing is over. Oh, sure. As long as you remember to water the plants every day. Mm. Okay, that's it. I don't think this is working. Hey, wait. Let's take turns. Wiggy's just leeching off my answers. I, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. Tell me a secret you haven't told me before. Tell the truth. <laughs> yeah, tell the truth. We still we tell a lie. But that's why it's a secret. I can't tell you. Honey. Is it about my cooking? I don't know. <laughs> Same question. Uh, Sarah, I love you, but uh, that's your casserole. You cook some like balls. Laugh. Let's laugh. We're laughing. Okay. <laughs> ah. Wah! So it takes a clone of you to pop up before you admit it to it, huh? Uh, but... but next question. Oh shit! This now is we're a bad getting, idea. Now we're getting somewhere. At least one of you has to be telling the truth. So Mike. What's wrong with the casserole? Tell the truth. Um, okay. Well, there was way too much chili, first of all. My bottom was on fire for days. It was horrible. The texture, too, I don't know. It just felt like eating barf. I mean, it looked like barf. It tastes like pure death. In the smell of the kitchen afterwards. I thought something really did die. Shh. Shut up! Shut up! But, but other than that, it was okay. The place had a nice floor pattern. <laughs> the plates! In the else? You were on a roll there. Uh, that's all. On the other hand, you make great p pizza lets. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. <laughs> I like the macaroni. Yeah, those were good too. The macaroni was a microwave meal. Mm. In short. You like none of my cooking, you lying ass. Yeah, you bet, baby. <laughs> That's not. Nice going, Mike. At this point, she'll throw us both out. All right, then. More questions. Did you have a crush on our neighbor? What? Who? Perez Buford Fort. The model who sunbathes naked on Sundays. What? That's... Sarah? 
What, what even are these questions? I'm just making full use of the situation, Mikey. Wouldn't you? Besides, I'm having fun. Uh, Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Ask him first. So that's a yes. No. Uh, she's... She's pretty, okay? You both are. But you're my soulmate. Hmm. Tell the truth. Tell the truth! She's friendly. I talked to her a few times. She was nice. Hmm. We're gonna die. What? Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> I mean, she wasn't intimidating. Didn't try to bite my head off or anything. Oh, sure. And the fact that she flashes her jewels around the neighborhood has nothing to do with her being nice. I didn't even know that. But you should call me next time she does. Oh! He, he, go. Well, this has been very educational. Anything else you want to tell me? I'm gonna keep on telling the truth. Let's keep, let's keep. This going. is gonna go call the truth route. Truth route. Paris Buford is a dumb ass bricks. I'm sorry, but she is. She's a sweet girl, but dude, poor girl even thinks England is in Africa. Oh, dude. Also, if you try sunbathing in a polluted, overpopulated, middle-class resident area with low walls, chances are you're a little soft in the head. Haha, <laughs> that's true! Hmm. <laughs> anyway, going back to the, the, the... Going back to the dilemma at hand. We didn't really make any progress, if you ask me. I still don't know which one is which. Why don't we just flip a damn coin? Tell the truth, tell the truth, tell the truth. Truth route. Hey, truth you route. know, I'm all for that. I might get lucky. Right. I hardly think that's a good idea, though. Of course not. But at this point, I'm really at a loss. We still have to decide, though. Fine. If you're the real Mike, what do you suggest we do with the imposter? That's difficult. Um, if I'm the real Mike, then I should stay Mike, right? Dylan has to leave. Go out in the world and find their own identity. The world is big anyway. <laughs> Battle it out. Uh, wait, which one are you clicking? I agree with that. Okay. I was like, I heard battle it out. I'm like, are you, are we really? I agree with that. But I'm the one who's staying. Are you the real Mike? Of course I am. Is this still one of your weird question thingies? Just answer. Truth route! Truth route. Yes, I am the real Mike. How about you? Are you the real Mike? I am. Prove it then. Convince me. Um, okay. Bit awkward. But I am Mike Jansen. Heart and mind. The only thing I know really, I wouldn't know what else to say. Hmm. What do you say? Ooh. No, I can't convince you. Let's do that. No, I can't convince you. I can't convince you. There's no way to tell. You said it yourself. All I know is I am Mike. There's nobody else I can be. 
What are you going to do if I ever say you're the fake? Tell the truth. Truth route. I don't know. I can't leave. I can't leave. I don't want to. All right. I think I just need to ask one last question. Sarah turned to me. Mike. Yes. Did you know the date? Uh, June 15th? Actually, it's already June 16th. That means whatever caused all this happened yesterday night. Can you remember anything else? Not really. Not even a little bit. I, I'm sorry, I tried, but the last I can remember is feeling tired and falling asleep in front of the TV. Mm. That span of time is critical. It's the missing piece of the to the mystery. But we can't go back in time. Either that's when you started to exist, or you're not telling us something. We don't know anything! Uh, started to exist? Is it just me, or am I getting the feeling that I'm the odd one out? Uh, we're just trying to help. You're probably a victim, too. What is this? So both of you agree that I'm the fake. When th was this arranged? You did just appear out of thin air, Mike. You're the stranger who barged into the house. Added to that, you have no memory of yesterday events. It just doesn't make sense. You don't make sense. My chest felt heavy at Sarah's words. This can't be happening. Everything is turning against me. Even Sarah. Well, what do you want me to say? I already told you everything. Yesterday I went to work, came home, toast in front of the TV, and then I woke up here. I've already said this. Well, how did you get here? Did you walk? Did you take the bus? Did you ride a rainbow unicorn? Facts, Mike. I need to know facts. Guys, calm down. Seeing the two you fight is just freaky. I really can't remember, okay? If I could, I have no reason to hide it. I've been nothing but honest since I got here. Maybe he has selective amnesia? That's, that is not a reason, just an excuse. I know I'm Mike. Please believe me. But if you're a clone and you have no idea? What? A clone? I... You wouldn't know any better. A clone? Is that possible? Am I just disillusioned? Maybe my desire to be Mike fabricated my memories and led me here? Maybe I blocked out the last hours in my mind because I didn't want to know the truth? My head began to throb with frustration. I turned to Sarah. I, the hope I needed was nowhere in her eyes. Sarah, please. This is breaking uh, my heart. I'm sorry. It's just... I stood there dumbfounded. A drowning man robbed of his final lifeline. Oh. I looked at Sarah and Mike, but they both avoided my eyes. I never felt so alone. Fear surged in my blood. It turned into betrayal and anger. How could Sarah let me down? I need her the most right now. But she won't listen to anything beyond her theories? How right can she be anyway? This is a matter of choice and opinion. And the truth is as sharp is as sharp as it is simple. She just chose not to believe. Me. My teeth gritted. I thought I could count on you, Sarah. I thought you wouldn't let me down. Don't say that. You don't know how hard this is for me. Oh yeah? And I'm having a ball? Stop villazizing me, Mike. I've done, done what you ask. 
No, you didn't. You just jumped to conclusions, refused to listen to my reasoning. You said one night of trivia questions wouldn't be enough. But you turned around just like that, accusing me of hiding something. That's that's not fair. Fair? Fair. Right. That sounds rich coming from you. Mike, stop. You're hurting her. I know nothing about this is easy, but I think you have to take a step back. We'll help you, okay? But the way things are going, emotions are running really high. We should all take a breather from this. Why don't you just come by again tomorrow and we'll figure it out. What? Are you asking me to leave? No. Well, I'll leave too if you want. Shut up. You're just trying to get rid of me again. I didn't mean it like that. It's just... I didn't... Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna end this episode here. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, shit, we just calm down. I don't know. I kind of want to see where attack goes, but I know it's not gonna end well. I know. Just calm down, and then we can go back and do attack. It was difficult, but I managed to quell my emotions and get it under control. My face was flushed. My head throbbed and my vision spun. But a few deep breaths in and I began to compose myself. I looked at Mike and Sarah. The atmosphere in the house was tense and palpable. The uneasiness wormed its way into my heart. It was bringing out the worst in me. I can't stay. I get it. I'll leave. Sarah's face twitched. There was a ghost of concern on her face. <laughs> you don't really have to. Concern, yes, but there's also coldness in her eyes that <coughs> broke my heart. <coughs> Shallow clarity that was the most she can give the man with her boyfriend's face. Oh, this is breaking my heart. It really is. It was that distant feeling you have for a tragic accident on the morning paper. I couldn't bear to see her look at me like that. I shook my head. No, I'll leave. There's a motel, a taxi ride away with my name on it. Let me just bump some cash and I'm good to go. <laughs> you have a bit of forced laughter to hide the regret in my voice. Now that I've said it, I wish I didn't. Let Sarah insist, please, just one more time. Let her say I can stay one more time. But she didn't. Maybe it was all just as well. It's better for all of us. I sighed with finality. Hey, if it will make any difference, I'll leave too. Maybe it's fairer that way. I offered him a bitter smile. I wouldn't leave Sarah alone after this. Neither should you. Just keep an eye on her till I all right? Okay. Hey, try to get some rest. It'll get better tomorrow. Thanks. I needed time to think. Gather my thoughts and make sense of the situation. Maybe they're right. This couple of hours that my memory missed might hold the key to unlocking the mystery. Tomorrow I will find out. As I pass by a store window, I notice my reflection. What? Is it just me or do I suddenly look, th do I look suddenly thinner? A sharp pain squeezed my heart as the thought crossed my mind. My heart, my chest heaved in erratic rhythms and dizzying births. 
My legs buckled from the pain. What? Blood dripped from my nose. What? Something's happening to me. I have to get back. I shouldn't have left. Sarah! But already my vision undilated and knocked me off my feet. Sarah, I need to find somebody to help me. Help me, Sarah. Sarah. Her name appeared in my mind over and over again. I didn't know why, but it was like I wanted desperately to cling to it. I looked around. Where am I? Why, why can't I remember how I got here? Jack. My chest... It hurts. Difficult to breathe. Sarah. Sarah. Who... And five, the innocent. Ah! Well, shit. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna load back up right where we were gonna do attack. All right, we're going back to attack. One, two, three, attack! The fear and despair turned into hot, burning anger. How dare this guy suggest that I leave? This asshole is taking everything that is mine. You have some nerve. Mike! I punched the imposter's face and tackled him to the ground. I pummeled him with every punch I could land. Sarah's screams of warning and anger faded into the background. Everything felt like a million miles away. Seizure warning, by the way, on this video. Yeah. Even as my fist came into contact with his flesh, I felt strangely distant. Serene. Like I was only a ghost hovering over what was happening. I didn't even notice Harry's, ha Sarah's hands pulling me to stop. I simply continued beating him like a frenzied animal. There was a feeling of being controlled. I savored it. I let it. But his lower lip split into a large, unsightly gash. Warm blood tainted my fist red. It was then that I stopped in shock. What, what am I doing? What am I? But when I looked down, his mouth twisted into an amused smile. His eyes, whoa, glowed with a sinister shade of red. Have you started doubting yourself yet, Mike? I wouldn't be surprised. You were always a little... soft. Like your punches. He let out a hoarse chuckle. I gripped his throat and brought my fingers heavy on his neck. Bastard, shut up or I'll kill you. His words came out in short, dry bursts like a tiny firecracker sizzling out the last of their wick. <sighs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? Haven't you fantasized about this? What's it like to kill? To have that power? Now you're doing it. Congrats. Shut up. Are you? Whoa! Hmm. Give me a second to collect myself before I say this line. Are you, are you aroused, aroused right, right now? now? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm... Does your weed feel good? Fuck you! Before I knew it, my hands got the nearby bat with all intentions of bringing it down on his... My face. I'll... Sarah! Help me! Ugh. Mike! His expression changed from evil to helpless in a split second. Pain ripped through my body as the bullet pierced my skin. Sarah shot us! I looked back and saw Sarah. My beautiful Sarah. She had her gun all along. I should have known. She had tears in her eyes. Sarah, it's not your fault.
I wish to say I didn't mean those awful things I said. But open my mouth, a, so a soft, wet trail of blood blocked my breath. Drowning, it feels like. Drowning. Mike. Ren. Sarah. Pain flooded my body as every last bit of me struggled for air. No. It can't. I thrashed and struggled. I looked at Sarah while I still could. I was struck by an unbearable feeling of loneliness. Now that I'm here, I didn't really think about the end. Just pain and how to make it stop. But everything is fading now. I welcomed it. It felt fine. And four, the fallen hero. Aww. Aww. So we know he's real. We know we are the real Mike. We're real. We're the real Mike. What's ending one? Oh, probably if we left when he when he asked us to. In the beginning. I feel like even if we left, Sarah probably would just catch us. Probably. All right, guys, we're going to end this episode here. If you guys enjoyed the series, leave a like. We might continue to find the other endings if you guys liked the series. Yeah, if you liked us. <laughs> like, if you like if us you to like figure us. out who Mike is? Uh, it's simply who us. Who is Mike? We're Mike. We're Mike. If you guys didn't figure it out, we're Mike. Not the one. And no, I did not get aroused by that. No, our weenie did not feel good about that. I'm still questioning why she has a weenie. <laughs> Bye. Clearly, clearly, obvious disappointment, approval of Suzu's choice of words. Suzu, Suzu, and Naomi. Suzu, and Naomi. I said Naomi. Uh. She means get.